Well, day two of the trip, and we're in Washington, D.C., and as you can see, there is a boat awaiting for us. And the boat is going to take us to the home of one of the founding fathers of the United States, uh, first president, Washington, George Washington. I'd be interested to see if the boat is worth the trip, and if the day, what, four or five hours uh, there is worth the trip as well. So we're off the boat and we're now here at Mount Vernon, home of the first president of the United States, George Washington. He farmed here, he also did some fishing and distilled towards the end of his life. And just behind those trees over there is Mount Vernon, just slightly up on a rise. Uh, but we're first going to have a little look around, a little recreation of what his farm may have looked like. So we're going to leave the farm, the slave memorial and Washington's tomb behind us and now we're going to head up towards Mount Vernon and have a little look around. Now that the uh, tour I booked on didn't include going around the house. However, you can book that, but there is one downside. There is something of a queue, certainly today, I don't know if it's the same all the time, but you do have to queue and wait to go in. I'm not going to do that today, you might want to do different, but here is the queue for today. Now, to be honest, I don't know how long the queue takes, it might just be a five minute queue. But having been through seven or eight queues yesterday at the airport and uh, Dublin and then again at Dallas, I'm not doing queues today. But you can if you want, I'm sure it's worth it. 
but for me today it's just the outside and the grounds. We're around the other side of Mount Vernon. The first thing I will say is the queue does seem to be moving, but like I said earlier, queues again, not for me. Now, uh, here they have a, a different sort of tourist thing to do, and actually having spent 10 minutes there, sat, looking, it's, uh, it's really lovely. It's a row of wooden chairs, and you can sit and look out over the view over the Potomac that George Washington, I'm sure, would have seen and probably sat there reflecting on a, a life well lived as well. Just a row of wooden chairs and the view. Well, this video doesn't do it justice. my way back from Mount Vernon back to the boat I'll do an overall view of everything when we get back to Washington uh, but on Mount Vernon really really good as I said didn't go in the house uh, didn't like the queue although I have to say watching it looked like the queue moved through pretty quickly um, but yeah everything really really good uh, number one thing the staff made it an extra special experience and I really would recommend either on the bus or on the boat uh, making a trip out here if you come to Washington So that's the trip to Mount Vernon done. I definitely recommend it. I definitely recommend it by boat. Uh, if I was looking for a negative, it is an hour there and an hour back. So if you haven't got a lot of time in DC, it's probably not for you. Uh, but probably the whole trip's not for you if you've only got like 24 hours in the city, because it is a good half a day out of it. However, if you've got two or three days, definitely recommend it. Amazing place to visit, really made better by the staff. I'll catch you soon. I